You were obviously very excited about the freshmen coming into the season. Did you think by the third week they would be the guys there in, in crunch time getting the majority of, of all the reps up there? Andy, I, I think they kind of outdone my expectations at this point, uh, this early in the season. I felt like at some point those guys uh, would be big time contributors. And like I, like I said before the season, were they going to start? Were they not going to start? Who knows? But, but that would play itself out. But to think at this point, four games in, that both of those guys could potentially be starting on Saturday. Uh, you know, that I, I went and told you that. And, uh, but hey, it's great. If, if they're the two best guys they're playing, they're going to be the starters. Willie's having a good season so far. He, he had a great day today. He's, he's obviously the leader of our group, continue to be the leader of the group. He's taken those young guys under his wing and done a great job helping them out. And, and uh, you know, I really like where our core is at right now. The, the moment didn't seem too big for you and Isaiah in the fourth quarter last week. I mean, are you surprised kind of how quickly you guys have acclimated yourself to the college game? Um, surprised, not really, because, you know, that was a goal that me and him both set, you know, upon ourselves between ourselves. You know, we're just going to do the best that we can be, uh, you know, kind of have the attitude, chip on our shoulder. And uh, I think it showed early on, and, uh, you know, we're just going to keep going out uh, week in and week out and just trying to which is more disturbing for you to have a secondary that does what it's supposed to do and just gets beat, you know, what I'm or vice versa, one that doesn't do what it's supposed to do and you've got breakdowns and technique issues and all that kind of stuff. The one that would be, both of them are very disturbing, but I guess the more frustrating one and disturbing would be if we're doing everything we're supposed to do and still getting beat at, at some point, then we're just not good enough. Or our scheme's not good enough. We're not helping those guys out. So we knew they were really um, did you get that you know, sense at all Saturday? Was that really big and really good? Well, we could have helped them out more with some of the adjustments that we did make in the second half. Um, and part of it is, man, the quarterback made some good throws, and those guys were hot pointing the ball. He was putting the ball in a spot where we couldn't look back because we were losing receiver. Yeah, those those are the toughest throws, college level, pro level. Those are the toughest throws, and if the quarterback's putting it in that spot, it makes it tough on us as defensive backs. And they execute some throws, but there were things technique-wise on some of those balls we could have been a lot better on. Tell me a little bit about last week. Do you think you guys got exposed, or do you feel like y'all just uh, comfortable and confident. No, I, I definitely don't think we got exposed, you know. Me personally, you know, I trust all these guys on the team, Brandon, Chuck, uh, Bonner, everybody, you know. But, uh, you know, we just didn't make plays. You know, some days some days be like that. We just got to learn from it, get better, and, you know, try to, try to be better next week. It seems like you play such a high-risk defense where you guys are kind of out there on an island. I mean, is that bound to happen eventually, that somebody might have a better day on you guys if, if you have that many one-on-one -on -one matchups? I wouldn't say bound to happen. You know, it's not something that we just think we know that's going to happen. You know, our mindset is, you know, we're going to hold it down. We're going to do what we need to do to win, things like that. We know teams are going to make plays here and there, but you know, we know we got enough talent to make plays ourselves.